J. Rod and Tisha's conversation. <laughs> and it jumped out of it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Gosh. Anyway, what's up, girl? Not so much. I'm very happy to be here. What's going on with you? Girl, I'm sweating right now. It is hot as um slavery up in here right now. But it's all sure good though. That's because of your song. Oh, thank you. Turning up the airwaves. Brown it up. Thank you. I'm gonna ask you. Is it a blessing? Yes. How long have you really been wanting this blessing? Oh gosh, forever. I dream about it. I wake up in the morning. It's the first thing I think about. So oh. for it to actually be happening now is just. I'm still pinching myself. Aww. Literally, yeah. no joke. Now, did you write this? Yes, I wrote it word for word. Wow. This is my baby right here. This is it. No, no. I thought what you were talking about your baby. <laughs> so, who is he? Um. We mm-hmm. ain't got that name. It's past tense. It's so, past tense. Yeah, I'm actually single right now, but uh, at one point in time, you know, I did have all these right. great feelings about a very special phone. Wow. Oh, hold on. Shaq. <laughs> 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 let, let me get a couple of How old is this, Shaq? Gosh. Anyway, it's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song. Thank That's you. Right. Now, how long have you been doing this thing? About four years now. Okay, okay. Four years. Now, out of those four years, between the first and now, who was the best? What was the best? The best. And don't 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 count that. Everybody know your phone, man. And don't count that part. Just count the whole experience. The whole experience. Um, I would have to say the best thing for me was actually um when I wrote my first song. Okay. And actually just being in the studio and actually getting to hear yourself right. and like wow, that's me. Right. That was like the best for me. But the Second best was when I heard the song on the radio. What were you doing when you heard the song? What were you doing when you heard the song? I was actually laying in the bed, and it came on, and I couldn't stop talking. I couldn't listen to it. I was freaking out. Like, I was was just freaking out. Did you think it was going to hit Ray? Like, when you made the song, did you like, oh, man, I know this is a hit? When I heard the track, it was so inspiring, and it was such... It made me feel good inside, so I wanted to talk about love, and I know everybody can relate to that, but the fact that people take to the song so well, I'm still grasping that. Like, that makes me feel so good. So I'm glad that I could come up with a song or, you know, tell my story and people can actually relate to it. That's what's up. That's beautiful. So when when you write, is it more of your experiences, (laughs) or is it just that was that one song that you had to experience with the most part of this one? Um, all of my songs are, I try to make them as genuine and sincere as possible. So I write from personal experiences, not just my own, but friends, family, you see, and hear things all the time. Wow, what's like the craziest song you wrote? The craziest song I wrote, I have a, a song called Red Light, and... <laughs> oh, no, I'm glad you did just stop. I got you, I got you. Red Light. Okay, no, it's not one of those type of songs. It's a song like, dude, I'm over you. You're at the red light. I'm going to keep on going. It's, your time is past. So what you're saying is that you ran the red light. Yeah, but you're at, you're at the south side. Like, you're there. I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell you how serious it is. Wow. I it to you. So it's like, you can that, right? <laughs> like, she listened to the radio. She heard me. She's like, I'm going to say, Stop. Right there. I'm going to run the red light. Like, <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. You are so talented. You're going to have to think of people. Like, Thank you. I, I mean, when I first heard the song, it was like, oh, man. Like, because the first thing, first thing, I was like, who the hell is this? Like, who is this chick? She's like, you're already like, no, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they told me you were from this area, I was like, get the hell out of here, man. VA has a lot of hidden talent. Wow. Now, are, are, you, are you born and raised in VA, or is this just like the place you stopped? Hampton, Virginia, all day. Hampton, VA. All day. What school you went to? I went to Bethel. Bethel? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to need you to call that down. Shaq, so you have anything for that? She went to Bethel. I stayed around the corner from that. I'm just saying, right? Thank you. <laughs> I ain't going to that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, thank you. Okay. Yeah, there, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's what it is. So, from the experiences in Bethel, who's like three people that just you just want to point out? Don't say their names, but who are they? Who, who, what did they do to you? Because, like, you know, for instance, when I got on radio, 
I was like, you know what, I'm going to do this thing. This one person, I can't say their names, they were more in my face, like, you know what, I hate you, and you ain't going to do nothing. Then this other girl, she was like, you know what, J.R., you ugly, so you ain't going to make it already. I was like, I didn't really have to look good for you already. You know what I'm saying? And then this other dude, he was like, you know what, you ain't got no time, I can do better than you. Mm-hmm. So who are those three people? I hate to disappoint you and sound whack right now, but oh, gosh, my whole music is singing, I kept it a secret, it was well kept, and I really kept to myself, so really? I really didn't care too much what people thought, I, I didn't know, so I didn't So you're not in the talent shows or nothing like no. that? No. So what? No. <laughs> you're going to do it, you're like, you know, I didn't know what to do today. Um, it started out with poetry, I always love to write my feelings out on poems, like, okay. through poetry, and um, I have a cousin, he also sings, and he just happened to meet a girl in his studio, and that's how I met George, and right. he saw something special, and like, let's groom this, and I'm, I'm thinking it's all fun, so, and then over time, I'm like, wow, I am good at this, so maybe this is what I need to be doing, so that's how it happened for me. So I didn't wake up at three like, Mommy, I want to sing. No, that, that's not my story. Yeah, no, no. So what did you want to do? Everything, you know. You know when you're a kid, you're like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. Right. Everything. I wanted to be a cook. I wanted to be an artist. I can't draw. I wanted to do it all. Like, everything that you could think of is what you want to do. But then when you actually start doing it, you're like, nah, this ain't me. Can you cook? I can cook a little bit. I can do a little something. Do we do any of that, Jack? I don't know. I don't know. Well, this is good. We're going to go into it with other songs right quick, and then uh, we're going to come back with Miss Tisha. All right. I love you. 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 I